Hello, it's Teacher Mindy, and today I am going to give you more tips and lessons about improving your writing test one in IELTS exams. So today I am going to show you about some kind of good vocabulary that you should use in your writing test one. Let's get started. To get a high score in IELTS writing test one, you need to like um, have a good range of grammar and vocabulary. In this lesson, I am going to like uh, look at the specific vocabulary um, that can be used in various ways. The words are maybe number, uh, maybe total, comprise, um, proportion of, be amounted to, uh, accounted for, and uh, previous figure. And try to exercise at the end of the lesson to test your knowledge and click the green button to see. Um, click the bell icon to see more of the answer on the comment below and the keys to learn is practice. So think about how you can apply this vocabulary into your academic learning test one report, especially to for graphs and trends. Here's the word number. Did you know that the word number can be used in as verb as well as a noun? A number uh, as a present verb, uh, for example, there is some, re some example I gave you. First, car produced in Japan number around 9 million units as present. And that word number is the now. In the second example, car production in Japan number around 9 million units last year. Three, co explored in the US outnumbered steel explored throughout the whole period. Out number. Four, in September 2017, the total number of EU migrants to the UK, which is under 100,000. And the last one, the number of cars produced in Japan last year stood at around 9 million, outnumbering the US, USA, 5, 7 million. For people, we also used word number as people with the countable nouns, the number of plus countable noun. For example, the number of people living in London has risen, risen to around 10 million since 1970. When comparing things or people, you can also use the word our number. The number of users on Facebook last year reached around 2 billion our number in Twitter, which stood at 1.5 billion users. Note, a good way of paraphrasing the number of is to use the proportion of, so I can most of write. The proportion of users on Facebook last year reached about 2 million outnumbering Twitters, which stood at 1.5 billion users. Hearing the words comprised in a category, to get a high score in a vocabulary session for Test 1 Academy, you need to vary your language. These words are very useful. Before you state the actual figure, here are the three examples. First, Energy production is friends, comprise 6% of hydropower and 24% of nuclear power in 2010. Two, the two in 2010, hydropower and nuclear power accounted for 6% and 24% of energy production in friends, respectively. Three, according to a graph, the number of coffee drinkers in scenic accounts for approximately 37 percent using the word total here are some examples that you can consider first the number of car producers in japan totaled around 9 million last year two the total number of car produced in japan last year stood at around 9 million our number is the usa 7 million three in total, 300,000 iPhones were manufacturers in the last quarter of 2016. 4. The total amount of electricity produced in the first half of the 2016 was around 2 million kilowatts. Using the word amount, here's some example. The amount of electricity produced in Canada from hydroelectric powder has risen sharply since 2012. 2. The amount of coal used in Australia doubled throughout the, the whole period. 2. Car production in the USA is amounted to around 200 
50,000 vehicles in the first half of 2015. Sometimes you can use the word amounted to in the past tense or amounts to that is the synonyms for in total. The cost of repair amounts to $700. The cost of repairs amounted to $700. Using the word figure. That is useful if you want to reduce repetition in your writing instead of constantly using the number of or the proportion of. Here are some examples you can consider. First, the figure for people entering universities reached a peak by 2014. Two, the figure carbon hibernate, hi, hi, carbon hydrates, hibernates, carbon dehydrate emissions in the UK dipped slowly by the end of the, of the 30 years. Three, the population figures for India rose by 12% over the two decades. Four, the figure for unemployment dropped to 5% in 2015. Using the word period, that is a good way to paraphrase the date range, especially in the unit overview, where it's best to avoid number or details. So rather than writing, for instance, from 2000 to 2010, you can write in a 10 year period throughout the 10 year period and throughout the whole period. In a graph for the period, if you want to mention the first year, I can write at the start of the period. And for the last year, I can write at the end of the period. It is also possible to use the word time frame, such as over a 10 years time frame.